Well, my tail light is pretty well installed. Uh, I've got the holes drilled for the mounting holes. I have it wired to a connector. I just simply use the uh, connector from uh, from here. I just chop chopped it out of there and put the soldered the wires on the back, taped it up. So now I can it has the factory connector basically. Um, excuse the dust. Uh, apparently I had to drill cut two more holes. These sockets stick back so far into the fixture that it's pretty well at the wall. So the only way to get it in was ah, cut some more holes. So anyway, um, it seems to be working. So that's great. Okay, the wiring on the to the connector isn't quite what I thought it would be. And what I'll explain is it's a six conductor connector and number one is not used. So we're going to use two, three, four, five, and six. And if we look at the what the connector's marked, one we're going to ignore. So two is marked BL. Okay, so BL, I assumed, was your backup light. Turns out that's your turn signal. S, I thought was the turn signal or the signal. It turns out that's just your tail light. BR, I assume is brake. Hey, it is a brake. 31 is your ground. And six, which is... I have no idea what NES stands for, but RF, I believe, was rear fog. When it's foggy, it turns on one light, one of your one of your tail lights only. It's a weird thing. Anyway, uh, that is your backup. So basically, if you go with the column of the right stuff, from two to six, your turn, tail, brake, ground, and backup. So that's the way I have that into the connector. And uh, that definitely seems to work. I've tested it out. So, perfect. Going with the flow. So with it all connected and turned on, this is the tail light, followed by the backup or reverse light. And then finally, the turn signal. All seems to work.